short story, I was in a taxi and then a conversation happened between the taxi driver and another passenger. And the taxi driver had this to say at the end of the conversation. I don't believe in miracles. I don't believe in blessings. I do not believe in, you know, favor and help. I believe in my efforts, what I can do with my own eyes. I'm okay with that. That was such an assertive statement that shook me, got my attention, and I was thinking and reminiscing over that. To him, that is his belief. And I kind of loved him for one thing, the sense of contentment. But on the other hand, for the purpose of living life, that would not help him to go far, him having that perspective. In today's video, I want to speak about help by God. Now, the reality is that there are so many people with this mindset. This happened some time ago, about two years ago, but then God brought that to my mind and then he gave me a lot of thoughts about this, which is what I'm sharing today. I am Uwe McPan. This is my YouTube channel. If you'd love to stay on to watch this video, it is a pleasure for you to hear these thoughts and I believe that it is going to speak to you and probably help you in one or two places of your life so that you realize that as a man, you need help. Now, that is my first point. Every man needs help. And when I mention the word man, I mean human, which is man, woman, girl, boy. No man can get to prominence. No man can become successful without help. And to put it generally, every human being, in order to accelerate or go forward in life, needs a force, an external force to push him or her forward. And why I use the word force is because not everybody depends on the Spirit of God. Not everybody depends on God for them to go up. There are so many people, which I know you're not ignorant about this, who go to other spirits, other forces to get help just to go forward, just to climb up. So you as a child of God and I, we know that the ultimate power is of our God. We know that our God has the ultimate power. Our God can lift. Our God can raise. And the reason God brought this to my mind is that just like the taxi driver had that mindset and he was assertive about it, he proclaimed it and believed it. I may not have added that strong, but unbeknownst to me, probably, softly, maybe I am walking in that mindset without knowing. Probably I am depending on my efforts. Probably I am depending on my works. Probably I am depending on what I can do to go forward. I'm depending on if I can do this or do that, maybe I will go forward. And now I get why the man said, I don't believe in miracles, I don't believe in blessings. Because to him, the aspect of miracle and blessing and help and favor has been abused and made transactional such that you are being told, bring this to God so that God will give you that. And that is not what the scripture says. Not to dig into that, the aspect of him having to say that, I could get what he mean because it's like when we think about blessing or God blessing us, we feel like we don't have a part to play. We feel like we don't have to do anything to it. We just have to stay and relax and God blesses us. But I love what Paul said. Paul said, by the grace of God, I am who I am. I labored more than all the other apostles, but yet not I, but the grace of God. Now he's trying to tell us that labor or work is noble. But the thing that God does not want you to operate in is toil. Now that is a cause. But working is noble. You doing something with your hands or having something to do is noble so that God would bless the works of your hands. Deuteronomy 28. I will bless the works of your hands. Now, Paul said, it is the grace of God. It is not I, but I had work to do. I had a labor to perform, but then God blesses my labor. God, through his grace, made me who I am. It is for you and I to know that it is only God that can raise us. It is only God that can lift us. It is only God that can take us to where we are going, but that does not eliminate or minus us having a part to play in terms of doing a labor or getting to work. But then we are not depending on our work or on our efforts. And what I got from Paul saying, I am who I am by the grace of God, is that 
He also mentioned in Philippians that it is God that works in us, but to will and to do of his good pleasures, which means God wants you successful and he works in the desire. He works in the passion and works in the ability to perform what he wants you to do. And it is only our prerogative for us to accept the favor, the grace, so that we can walk into the desire that he puts into us and also walk into the ability to do. Now we can come to a place of saying, it is not my effort. It is God that worked in me, the desire, the passion, and then gave me the ability, the strength to carry on and become successful. Now we see in scripture, in Genesis chapter 26, it speaks of this man, Isaac. Verse 3 says, dwell in this land. That was God speaking to Isaac. And I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants I give all these lands. And I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. Verse 2 of it said, Then Isaac sowed in that land. He did work. He sowed. But it was not because of him sowing. And it continued to say, And reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Now look at how the Lord blessed him. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. We have to talk about this. God wants you to prosper. I wish that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. He did not say spiritual prosperous. It already mens mentions that. So God wants you to be prosperous. God wants you to have but not in the worldly sense of what we tag the prosperity gospel. That is not, you know, a consummation of all God wants you to do in life. To this point, I got an idea. I remembered in physics class, the law of Newton says that an object will remain in its state of rest in a uniform motion until an external force will push that object before it will move. And I realized that it could be applied to our lives as humans that Without an external force pushing you, you remain where you are without going anywhere. Without the Spirit of God helping you as a human being, without you accepting the help of God, without you being open to the favor of God, to the blessings of God, without you trying to remove your mind from your effort, which is self-righteousness, thinking that it is your effort that will take you to where God wants you to be, without that, you would remain where you are. You would remain in the same place for years and nothing is changing. You are praying. You are making fasting. You are going for deliverance every day. But your mindset is a stronghold that is keeping you where you are. Because you are not accepting the favor of God. This came to me strongly and I believe God is speaking to someone. He is also speaking to me because I have to intentionally rewire my mind and how I think. That everything that I get to receive from God, every height that God is taking me, is not because of the work that I do. I am a hard worker. I love working hard. But I don't want to toil, which is, I don't want to work in vain. That every hard work that I do, nothing is coming out of it. I remain in the same place. Now, I look at the man. I love his mindset. But then, it is good that he should work hard. But him not believing that God would favor him and bless him to be accelerated is what kept him where he is. Because it doesn't look like he's doing very well. But he's contented. Well, so out of that, you have to know that you need the Spirit of God. You need the blessings of God. You need the favor of God. You need the help of God. And this is me telling you in conclusion that I am a man helped by God. This is the motto for my life. I am a man helped by God. And I want you to believe it also. That you want the help of God. You need the help of God. And you are ready and open to accept and receive the help of God. Because without the help of God, you and I cannot get anywhere. No matter the hard work that we will put in anything that we are doing. We might just be working in vain. We might just be trying our best. Working ourselves worn out. We have to come to a place of resting. Resting in God. Resting in his favor. And the Bible says God blessed Isaac. 
He sowed and God blessed him and he became prosperous. He began to prosper, continued to prosper and became very prosperous. That is the blessing of the Lord. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich and added no sorrow. Now another person in the scripture before I end this video is the person of Joseph. Joseph was blessed by God even as a slave. And scripture says in Genesis chapter 39 about him, The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. How was Joseph successful? The Lord was with him. The Lord gave him success in everything that he did. It was not his discipline. It was not his hard work, but it was the Lord. Brethren, brother and sister, you and I need the Lord to really get to wherever God wants us to be. We need the Lord to be with us and we need to be open to the favor of God. We can pray as much as we pray, but if your prayer is dependent on your effort, oh, I prayed for 10 hours, but why are you still where you are? I fasted for 40 days. Why has nothing changed? I did this, I did that. You're still depending on your efforts. I've been working from morning till night. Nothing has changed. Maybe you're toiling. You need to be open to the favor of God. You need to be open to the help of the Lord. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope that this video is a blessing to you. Let me know in the comment section what is speaking to you through this video. I would love to chat with you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.